What is up everybody and welcome back. Today we are looking at how to find the missing angle in a triangle when we've got two of the angles already. So the first thing we need to remember is that all angles in a triangle will equal 180 degrees. That doesn't matter what shape our triangle is, we could have it this first shape, second shape or even this third shape, all of the angles inside these triangles will equal 180 degrees. And it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Because as we open an angle like this one down here, we're going to be closing other angles. So together they all stay 180 degrees. So how are we going to work out this missing angle? Well, we're going to follow these steps. Step one says to add the angles that we already have. And then step two says we're going to subtract that from the 180 total that we know it is. So let's have a look at this first one together then. And we can see that we have this angle down here of 75 degrees and the top angle of 30 degrees. And we're looking for this angle that's marked X. So we have 75, we also have 30, but we're missing this angle here that we're gonna call X. But we know that all of the total equals 180. So therefore it makes sense that if we start with this 180 and we subtract the 75 and the 30, we're gonna be left with our X. Or we could say that X equals 180 subtract 30 plus 75. So now I can start to solve this and again let's start with our brackets. X equals 180 subtract, well what's 30 plus 75? That's 105. So therefore X equals 180 subtract 105 which is 75. So for this missing coordinate, we should have 75 degrees. Now I can double check that by putting that into my bar model. We think 75. And now I can check whether this all equals 175 when I add it together. 75 plus 30 is 105, plus my 75 is 180. Perfect. Okay, let's look at shape B, this one in the middle. And this time we're given an angle of 50, and we're given an angle of 90, a right angle. So again, if I draw my bar model, I know that I have a 90 and a 50, and I know that my total is 180. So this missing gap will be my x value. So again, let's use some algebra to help us. I'm going to start with x equals 180, subtract the sum of 90 and 50. So therefore x equals 180 minus 90 plus 50, which in this case is 140. Therefore x equals 40. So the value of this angle is 40 degrees. Okay, one left. Let's have a little look at this one. And I'm going to do it without my bar model this time, just straight into the algebra. And I have x equals 180 subtract 100 plus 40. Therefore, x equals 180, subtract 140, x equals 40. So the value of x is 40 degrees. Simple stuff. Let's have a look at what to remember. Remember first that all angles inside a triangle equal 180 degrees. That is going to be our really helpful fact. First, then we add up our two angles that we already have, and then subtract that number away from our 180 to get our missing angle. Okay, three questions for you to have a little look at. Press pause on the video, take your time, and try and see if you can get the missing value of these angles. Press pause now, good luck. And there you have it. That is finding the missing angle of a triangle when you are given two of the angles already. Hopefully this wasn't too difficult. Hopefully this has been useful. If it has, subscribe to the channel. But for now, I'm gonna see you in another video. Peace out.